I do not make dessert very often, but if I'm going to make it, um, I try and make it as delicious as possible and something that as many people can eat as possible. We have part of our family dairy free. So this is a great dessert that you can make um, that so many people can enjoy. It's a baked apple with a vegan caramel sauce. You don't have to tell people it's vegan. They won't know. It's just really, really delicious. And it's a lot easier than normal caramel sauce. So let's get going on it. it takes less than an hour. Just a few ingredients for our caramel sauce. Uh, the base of it is, you know, sugar and coconut milk, or actually this is coconut cream. Mayploy is my favorite brand. I feel like it's just really good quality stuff. I get it on Amazon. Um, Sometimes you can find it in Asian markets and, and some grocery stores, but not very many. Um, I'll link to it in, in the post here, but uh, coconut cream, 19 ounces. Also brown sugar, two cups of this. That's a lot. Caramel is basically all sugar. That's just what it is. It's dessert for crying out loud, treat yourself. And then we have a few uh, spices here. Some nutmeg that we are going to grind fresh, ground clove, allspice, cinnamon, and uh, vanilla extract. We're gonna want about one tablespoon of ground cinnamon, two teaspoons of allspice, quarter teaspoon of ground clove, quarter teaspoon of fresh ground nutmeg. Using pre-ground stuff, you'll do a full half teaspoon. One thing I failed to mention is just a little bit of fresh lemon juice. It's a lot of rich flavors here, so we want something that will cut through that just a little bit. All right. Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, that's going to be good. Rosemary with apples and caramel is, I mean, it's out of this world how well it works together. So, um, but rosemary needles, um, that, that's not pleasant to eat. You just kind of want the flavor in there. So to get the flavor in there without having to deal with the needles, we're going to take four of these little sprigs here. And I've just got some butcher's twine that we're going to start with the bottom and just wrap going up. And any needles that poke out, just tuck them back in there. Go all the way up. And then we're going to tie our two ends together like so. So with that, you're not gonna lose any of the rosemary needles, but you will get all of the flavor of the rosemary throughout the sauce. So I'm gonna make four of these little guys, just toss them in there. While that's going, we're gonna prep our apples and I just want to core the apples. If you wanna take the skins off, you can. As long as an apple is in season, the skin is actually pretty tender. The more out of season it is, the thicker the skin is and the less pleasant. But uh, we're in apple season right now. Most apples are pretty safe. This is a gala apple, which is very, very safe, you know, just kind of across the board. Um, very widely available also. And they make a little tool that's basically a knife that has kind of a half circle in it. You can stick through and then just circle around the core and it takes the core out super, super easy. Um, I don't have one of those and most people don't. So I'm gonna show you how to do this with a paring knife, which is just one of these guys. Alternatively, if you didn't want to do that, you could just cut the apple in half um, and then into quarters and then just kind of slice out the insides. Um, but I like to bake the apples whole like this. To do this, we're just gonna make four little, we're gonna basically make a box going straight down. And you have to be careful with this. You don't wanna, you know, cut your hand straight down on either side, making a box around the core.
do it on the top. And then on the bottom, you just kind of go around in a circle around the base. And now if you come up to the top here and push, you should be able to get the core out of there. Gives you just a nice little square. suggest if you don't have you know a steady hand or you're not confident with it um, that you just cut it in half and take the middle out that way a lot easier um, but you do you we are going to add the caramel sauce just right over top of this and then put it into our 350 degree oven for 45 minutes rosemary we want to kind of disperse throughout so the flavor can get uh, you know the, the aroma can get all around it so just one of each of the little mid parts there you have to kind of keep an eye on it we have uh, the caramel that we poured over top of the apples that can start to burn quicker than other stuff and so we have just like a little piece of tin foil on hand we'll keep an eye on it and if we see anything that browns a little too quickly just toss the tin foil over top of it very loosely just to keep the direct heat a little bit less intense. And the caramel on that is a little thick. You want it to be that way because you're gonna have some liquid that comes out of the apples and then that will kind of water down your caramel a little bit more and so you, and, but then that will cook out which is why we don't cook it covered right now unless we absolutely have to so it should all even out if you start with it just a tiny thicker than you uh, would end up, would want it to end up being um, I think the way we've got it will be just right Those are looking awesome. They smell amazing. We've got about 15 minutes left. So when you hit about the 30 minute mark, just open it up, scoop some of that uh, caramel over all the top and uh, let it finish for the last 15 minutes. While it's doing that, we are going to prepare the rest of the topping, which is two thirds a cup of walnuts and about a third of a cup of almonds. And we're just going to take these and do a rough chop through there does not need to be small. I basically just chop through it until all of the almonds have been cut through at least once. All of these chopped nuts, they're just gonna get toasted in a dry pan with a sprig of rosemary. We're just gonna to toss this around on medium heat. Um, until you can really start to smell it and it starts to brown on some of the pieces. That is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Hope you enjoy it. Give it a try. Let us know what you think 
And uh, if you make any changes, we'd love to hear what you did for yours. Thanks, everybody. Take care.